Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters Sky D TV, but I was at the 2021 SEMA show and I came across a very cool 1969 Camaro I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll check it out. Good looking car. It was out at Steve's and I don't know why I didn't shoot it. If I'm sure part of it was is because it wasn't completely 100% finished, but maybe not. But I know that I looked and walked around it for the whole time it was out there telling Steve, we gotta shoot this one, we gotta shoot this one. It's a good looking car. And then it got away from me. I caught up with it at SEMA though, how cool is that? I don't know much about the construction of the car. It looks like maybe some uh, lines have been sharpened, magnified, maybe wide, little wide body. Now I wouldn't swear to that. It's got one of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors custom convertible tops on it which will fit like no other, so much better than factory. I like the stripes on it. Of course, I like the hideaway headlights. The wheel choice is always personal, but I'm good with that. The scoop on the hood is kind of like a Corvette big block scoop. So I'm not a big fan of cowl hoods, but that one works. I, I'm fine with that. I think it looks good. It's a nice tribute to the uh, Corvette history and the Camaro, right? Both GM sports cars changed the world. The red, you know, red is not just red. Well, none of these colors are just these colors anymore. Even black, there's, I don't know how many shades of black there and white there is out there. Red is the same way, and I really dig this red. And this interior that Steve and the boys did. When I originally, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, because I've got two Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, interior, interiors, and I am so proud of both of them. But when I took the Mustang out there, I took pictures of the ZL1 Camaro seats to Steve and said, man, I really dig these. And what he did, I really, really like. He said he couldn't make them look like a Camaro seat, but he ended up using something close to it in this car, and I really, really dig that. I like those red tucks or red stitching. That's just a really good looking interior. And of course, carbon fiber backs. How cool is that? Good looking car all the way around. Like I said, the right shade of red. It's got a great stance. I even dig the stripes on it. I think those look nice door handles being black and mirrors and none of that stuff shaved either so so many times now you know everything is clean and shaved and this has still got door handles and mirrors very nice front end facial work there bumpers tucked and all that color coded to the car and I know you always ask about tires and wheels so got you a good shot I can't do it all the time or I forget sometimes but I did get them for this one Cool car. And I hear missed, missed it out of Steve's, but you know, no harm, no foul. Was able to catch up with it at the 2021 SEMA show. Get some video shot of it. I always like when Steve's around though, and I can get him doing a little bit of the audio with me and tell me what him and the boys did. And then sometimes he knows a little bit more about the car than I do. First generation Camaro, bunch of them, but I thought this one was cool. And of course, you know, I always like to support my boy Steve Oakle. I knew you don't want to see it. We gotta throw a first gen Camaro in there every now and then, even if they are everywhere. So there you go from the 2021 SEMA show. A very nice 1969 Chevrolet Camaro convertible. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.